this shit off real quick. Cookies. The man was at a fucking bakery trying to buy some cookies, yo. In his hometown. In the crib. Where are you from? Trying to buy some fucking cookies, man. That's where niggas did them. Like, at some point, man, we just got to start realizing, like, Niggas be the problem, too. You get what you feel me? Like, niggas be the problem, too, yo. Like, you can't just sit here and say all kind of, the, all this political shit, Black Lives Matter, and then something like this happened in crickets. Like, that don't make any fucking sense. Like, the man was going to get cookies. Cookies, man. He's going to get fucking cookies. Like, niggas don't shoot up the pedophiles, the rapists, the niggas who sexually assault women, the niggas who abuse children. Like, niggas don't shoot none of them. Niggas be going after the talented niggas. Niggas be going after the people who made it. Who got out the situation. And coming from where I'm from. 30th and Westmount. In North Philly. That situation was terrible. The situation is still terrible in Philly. Philly fucked up. But once you like 30. You know like. Oh I made it out that situation. I like. I guess I can see myself living a long life. Barring any like. Accident or some shit like that. Because you already made it out the nonsense, yo. Man was 36. With two kids. Like, niggas got to start looking at the real issues. And the real issues come from inside, bro. Like, niggas be like, niggas will tell you on social media, it's racism. It's fucking... It's the white man. It's the white woman. It's all this other nut shit. Yo, stop it. Racism ain't never robbed me. You know what I mean? Racism ain't never held me at gunpoint. Racism ain't never did none of that shit to me. And I'm not saying I'm not one of them people saying that that shit don't exist. What I'm saying is. Like, niggas have more problems than that. And today is just another instance. It's not even, like, highlighting it. This shit happens every day to niggas who you, you'll you never hear about. Because they're not young Dolph. You'll never hear about those lives being taken senselessly, needlessly, because they don't have fucking... Billboard 100 records. But it's a problem nonetheless. When are niggas going to start addressing those problems on social media? When are those problems uh, going to become one of the bigger talking points? Like, Can anyone answer that question? When is that problem, the drug problem, when are those problems going to be front and center on social media where niggas will go and march for that shit? Y'all go march for his fucking mother. Y'all go march for his kids. Nope. Y'all niggas won't do none of that shit because black lives matter, right? And again, I ain't one of them nut ass niggas who be like, all lives matter or none of that dumb shit. I agree with the sentiment of Black Lives Matter. Like, I, I get it. But didn't his matter? I mean, it mattered to his people. It mattered to his children. 
niggas got to start realizing it's just some fucking animals in the hood, yo. Like, and that's real shit. That's real rap. It's just animals in the fucking hood that we need to address that problem. Before we can go to the table with all the other motherfuckers and be like, okay, here's the problems with the whole, the big picture. We need to address our shit first. We can't just sit here and be like, this the problem. And, and white man or, or white woman, y'all need to help us deal with the problem. If we're not willing to help ourselves, bro, they're not about to do shit for us, yo. And that's real. They're not, they're not going to do nothing for us. It's, it's, it's even like... It's getting to a point now, bro, it's just like... What's the reason... For the like, what like, why are niggas doing this shit that niggas are doing? Like, why, bro? Why are you hating on niggas who already made it, who could have potentially helped other people in the hood make it? It's just it. it. Boggles my fucking mind every day, man.